Happy Tuesday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It is that time of the day where you find out what is happening in the tropics. We've only got about six weeks left in our hurricane season for 2023. This year seems to have flown by, but of course, you know that even though we are getting closer to the end of hurricane season, things can still happen out there. We could still have a tropical depression, tropical storm or hurricane developing. So I do want to update you on exactly what is happening. Now, typically between now and the end of hurricane season, activity really starts to kind of wane, fizzle out, go down but there's still a chance we could get hit here. There's still a chance that we could have more tropical action developing in the Caribbean and in the Atlantic and in the Eastern Pacific. So we're watching all of those areas to see if we could potentially get some impacts. So I am going to start off in the central Atlantic. That's because we have a pretty strong tropical wave here. You can see that we've got the Lesser Antilles off to the west, Puerto Rico off to the west, still pretty far from those locations, but this tropical wave is being called Invest 94L. It is looking a little bit more organized, still not a well-defined center of circulation, but you can see the bright areas of convection, those showers and storms breaking out, and it is forecast to become stronger over the next few days. So I think we will likely have a tropical depression or a tropical storm in the next couple of days. In fact, now a high 70% chance for that happening over the next 48 hours and an even higher 80% chance that we will have a tropical system, a tropical cyclone developing over the next seven days. So this system, Invest 94L, is located where you see the red X and the general track is going to be off to the west, northwest, and eventually making more of a turn to the north and northwest as we go into later this week. That's good news for us because it, if it were to continue pushing to the west, there's a chance it could have rolled into the Caribbean and maybe even the Gulf, but Overall, it's going to get steered more to the north and northwest later this week, but there's definitely a high chance of this becoming our next tropical system, and it will likely still produce some impacts for portions of the Lesser Antilles. Notice the track with our computer model plot to our spaghetti models, as we call them, and they are pretty much in agreement that this will push west-northwest and then make more of a turn to the north later this week, but not before brushing by portions of the Caribbean islands, the Lesser Antilles, maybe bringing some impacts to parts of Puerto Rico and then making that sharper turn to the north that would take it away from the Caribbean, away from the Bahamas, away from Florida and the Carolinas, and of course away from the Gulf of Mexico. So certainly some good news for us, but we will watch it closely as it does appear that it will brush by some of those Caribbean islands. Let's roll over to the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. Things are looking pretty quiet here, so certainly some good news for us, and we are keeping our fingers crossed that it will remain that way through the end of hurricane season. But you can see that track of Invest 94L, what will likely become Tropical Storm Tammy in just a few days. And notice as we go through the week, it starts to curve and track to the north, and that would take it away from the Gulf of Mexico. So good news there. However, we are also monitoring what's happening in the Eastern Pacific, because you know, sometimes we do get impacts from these tropical systems. Sometimes they will throw some moisture our way. Sometimes that track will take them up into parts of Mexico and eventually into portions of Texas. So we do have not one, but two systems that we're monitoring. One that just became a tropical storm. This is Tropical Storm Norma. You can see it offshore there, south and west of Mexico City. And we also have another system east of Norma. This one is just expected to gradually develop over the coming days, but it is a tropical wave at this point, and it will be monitored for possible development into another tropical depression, tropical storm, or hurricane. In fact, there's about a high percent for that to happen at this point. But of course, we already have Tropical Storm Norma, so I did want to give you the track on that. Currently, winds are at 40 miles per hour, movement to the west-northwest at 10 miles per hour, and pressure currently at 1,004 millibars. So it's going to take this general track to the west-northwest and then kind of curve more to the north and northeast as we go into this weekend. So by this weekend, especially by Sunday, that would take it into the bottom 
Baja Peninsula. So certainly some impacts could be felt for some of the folks there. So we will have to watch this closely. Another thing that could happen is that some of the remnant moisture from this system about a week from now could get pulled up into our direction. In fact, that's what the models are showing. Let's check it out. This is our GFS model not really showing much of any rain for us for the next several days through Sunday and Monday. I don't think we're going to see much. There's a very small chance for an isolated shower storm for us Thursday and Friday, only around a 10 to 20% chance. But notice that moisture coming from those systems in the Eastern Pacific. This is Monday of next week, 4 p.m. And notice what happens by Tuesday, that moisture starts to kind of get pulled in our direction. It looks like the majority of it will be in Western and Central portions of Texas but I do think a little bit of it will try to make it into the Houston area. So as I mentioned, that's going to be about a week from now, and that's when I think our rain chances will start to increase a bit. But even now, it doesn't look like it's going to be widespread heavy rain, but maybe a little bit of tropical moisture bumping up our rain chances just a little bit. But back to that system in the Central Atlantic, Invest 94L, if it were to become a tropical storm. The next name on the list would be Tammy. And then after that, we would only have two additional names, Vince and Whitney, to get through before we're finished with all of the names that were designated for this season. We could actually get through all of those names because even though we're getting closer to the end of hurricane season, we've still got some very warm waters out there in the Atlantic water temps in the 80s and still even a 90 degree water temperature showing up just off of the south coast of Florida. So certainly we do still have the fuel to help these storms to quickly strengthen and we could have a few additional before the season is over. It's already been a pretty busy season as I have been mentioning to you for the last several weeks. 19 named storms, six hurricanes, three major hurricanes. That puts us near average for our hurricanes and above average for our number of named storms. So I'm sure we all want to get through the rest of this hurricane season without anything crazy heading our way. We've been fortunate so far, no tropical systems impacting the Houston area so far this season. But of course, if Mother Nature decides to get a little crazy on us and send something our way, we are tracking it closely. And you can keep track of it by going to the App Store, searching for Fox 26 and making sure that you download our Fox 26 weather app. All of the tropical weather updates that you can imagine will be there. Of course, we've got our weather videos, we've got radar, you can get any types of weather alerts that you desire. Just make sure to turn the alerts on at, after you download the app and you will have access to all of that. All right, well, that will do it for your tropical update for this Tuesday. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day.